I'm really just exposing myself with my socks and slippers, aren't I? That's like honestly how I wear them most of the time because you get extra warmth. It just makes sense. We're gonna do a very realistic what I eat in a day because I honestly really need to go grocery shopping. So we really aren't starting with a lot. Breakfast is going to be kind of a gamble because I don't really know what I have right now, but we're gonna make it work. Breakfast. Two of my favorite types of breakfast are anything with an English muffin and with turkey bacon. Unfortunately, I only have one piece of turkey bacon left. Usually I'll have like two or three in the morning. But again, working with what we have. I don't really like to have a lot of fruit with my breakfast unless it's strawberries or wild blueberries. Okay. The easiest little bowl to make for breakfast. If you have a frozen berry and some milk, it makes the milk into almost like a yogurt. You can add a little bit of peanut butter, make it a bit sweet, maybe a little cinnamon. Why not? Mm -hmm. Let's get our English muffin. I always use this plant-based mayo. It's with avocado oil. A little bit of that. A little bit of avocado and garlic powder in our bacon. Mm. Oh my goodness. You get a savory, you get a sweet, you get a little bit of everything. You got your fats, you got your proteins, you got your carbs, you got your sugars. But there's only one thing missing. Why don't we do a thorough matcha recipe? Because I feel like we haven't done one in a minute. This is the matcha that I'm using. It's from Ipoto Tea. That is the name of it. And then I just added a teaspoon and a half in here and sifted it. We're gonna add a little bit of warmish hot water. Two tablespoons if you want to measure it. And then we're just going to whisk the matcha in M and W motions. You don't want to whisk too harsh, just lightly so it gets nice and frothy. I know I need a new matcha whisk. Like, don't come for me. I just I. I, I can only do so much. Sweetener of choice as always, always maple syrup. And then top it off. Excuse me, excuse me, hello. Uh-huh. Perfect. That's how we get it done, kid. Okay. I just got a few things that I needed, like some tomatoes, black beans, some coconut milk. I also got these Chobani complete, I guess they're little protein drinks. Greek yogurt protein drinks. They have 20 grams of protein in them. And I wanted to get this not only because um, I want to have some protein after my workout, but also while I'm making lunch, I like to have a little snack. I don't like to be starving when I'm making my lunch because I really enjoy cooking and I don't want my like hanger to ruin it. I like to have a little snack while I cook and then I enjoy my meal. And sometimes it's just a little protein shake. Oh, yum. Literally tastes like the animals, like, exactly. Mmm. -hmm. Don't mind if I do, I will be enjoying that while we make sweet potato boats. This is one of my favorite things to make for lunch or dinner because one, it's so easy. Two, it has everything that you need for like a well-balanced meal. And also, I just love anything with sweet potato and turkey. Those are like my go-to items to have in like a lot of my meals, so. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, because this is gonna take the longest, are bake the sweet potatoes. I just wash these and pierce them all over with a fork. So we're going to put them on a pan and into the oven.
Beverage of the day. You guys know I love my Poppy and my Olipop, but I'm also a huge Zevia girl. This one's the orange flavor, which I haven't tried before. Mmm. Okay. We have our sweet potato boats, a little bit of everything. I have some avocado on the side. And then also I made Greek yogurt and lime, kind of like a crema for the top. Oh, I'm so excited. What I love about these is that you can meal prep these as well. So then I have sweet potatoes and taco meat to use for the rest of the week. Mmm, wow. A little avocado. One of the best things ever, ever. We're gonna attempt to make a chocolate chip cookie cake. Kind of like a cake, kind of like a pizookie. I don't know. I saw this on TikTok and it's my friend's birthday today, so I'm gonna try to make it. It seems pretty simple, so I think this one should be good. I got some softened butter. One cup dark brown sugar. A fourth cup white sugar. Two cups of flour. Half a teaspoon baking powder and some salt. Set that aside. We got an egg and an egg yolk. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. From here I'll just get everything off of the mixer because we're done with her. We can use it to stir the dry ingredients with the wet, but it's very easy to like over mix with it. So it's better to just do it little by little with a little spatula. There you got in your chocolate chip. And then we use a springform pan, so it's easy just to take it out after. We're having chicken curry for dinner. Honey, I burnt the casserole. Guys, I don't know what I did. That was literally my third time attempting to make curry at home. Yellow curry specifically. I am just gonna leave it up to the professionals. I cannot get it down and it's fine. I would rather support like a local small business, like a mom and pop shop, than, than try to remake it at home. You got a little bit of rice, a little bit of curry, a little chicken or some onion, ooh, or a carrot. Mm, this really is a realistic what I eat in a day because sometimes this happens. Oh, I also get their salad. Hello. You have to add a little bit of greens in there, balance it out. I also brought myself a little beverage. I love eating in my car. Like, I know I show myself eating like at home a lot of time or if I go to like a restaurant or whatever, but honestly, I eat in my car. I sit, I bring a little Bev. Oh, oh, catch up on some videos. Right now I'm watching David Alvarez's new video. Where is he? Oh, hi, David. I'm watching that. I'm drinking my little poppy. I'm eating my little curry. This is the life. I'm gonna chill here. And then we have a birthday to celebrate. Ha! Uh -huh. 